Welcome to the official Acclaim game tape. Get ready to see some of the hottest games around. You'll learn hints, tips, and secrets for NARC, Bigfoot, Total Recall, Destination Earth Star, Swords and Serpents, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, Knight Rider, Iron Sword, Cybernoid, plus a sneak peek at Arch Rivals. This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge and also have some experience playing the game. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. NARC lets two players enjoy its arcade-style action at the same time. Right out of today's headlines, you enter the war against drugs. You are Max Force, a special breed of cop. Your mission is to shut down the entire underground operation, from the street dealers to the biggest of bosses, Mr. Big. The stakes are high and so are the dangers. Use these tips as ammo against the bad guys in NARC. Your first piece of business is to take out the Das Lof gang at their dreaded pipeline hangout. They may look like ordinary street bums, but they're packing high-powered shotguns. Try to bust as many of these creeps as you can. You'll be cleaning up the streets. You get more points for busting them than you do for shooting them. When you're busting one gang member, make sure you don't leave yourself open to attack from behind. Don't leave this safe card behind. It's your ticket out of here. The drug pushers aren't the only animals down here. As soon as you see a pit bull ready to attack, crouch down and open fire. Work your way to the exit at the downtown garage. It's a good spot to collar some crooks. Make sure you get through the door before your energy's depleted. It's your passageway to level two. Take note. For every 100,000 points you score, you'll be rewarded with an additional life. Watch out for Dr. Spike Rush and his hypo men. They can launch their deadly needles from all angles. Getting stuck will quickly drain your energy. After they shoot, it takes them time to reload. Use this opportunity to chase them down and bust them. Down in the lab, stay over on the left. You have a better chance of defeating the hypo men on the left, since they won't have room to throw their weapons. Your enemies on the right will be aiming to kill, so watch out. Clean them out, and you'll find a truckload of important evidence. Once you clear out these creeps, you can use your rockets to blow up the vats of drugs and chemicals. You'll earn 1,000 points for each one. Keep the heat on. Your history if you don't secure this blue safe card being held by one of the hypo men. If you've confiscated enough cash for five lives, but you're low on energy at the moment, here's a trick you can use. Set yourself up to be killed. As soon as you get your new life, head for the door. Now you're energized. If you think these low lives are hanging out on the bridge for a Sunday fishing trip, you're wrong. Meet them, greet them, dust them, and bust them. Then, to really make tracks, hop in the narc mobile. Joe Rockhead's a dangerous man, and he's hot on your trail. See if you can lead him to step on one of the exploding mines. Be careful, though. One wrong step, and you may become part of the pavement. This enemy helicopter will hunt you down from the skies above. When it returns from the left side, it'll try to bombard you with machine gun fire and anti-armor assault bombs. To avoid getting hit, quickly reverse your direction and fake your attackers out.
Don't let this column hold you up. Try shooting it and see what happens. There's a lot of sleaze out on the Sunset Strip. Just ask Kinky Pinky. Prove to his gang that clown time is over. While they leap right into the path of your shots, beware. This is one gang you just can't bust. These mutant killer bees won't sting you as long as you keep moving. Nothing good grows in this greenhouse. Sergeant Sky High's got it booby-trapped with Sky High landmines. Watch out! Now you've got to take on the posse guarding the headquarters of Mr. Big. Even the innocent-looking cars have it in for you downtown. Turn around and demolish this one before it runs you down. You've walked into a crossfire, but with quick footwork, you can bust a bunch of thugs without firing a single shot. Read them and weep. You'll need non-stop firepower to work your way through the multiple floors in Mr. Big's top secret office. The thugs on the red level are armed to the hilt with dynamite. Avoid these explosive weapons until you can bust these criminals. Your best bet on the blue level is to head out as quickly as you can. Mr. Big never leaves home without his gold safe card. To get it, blast him three times with your rockets. You've infiltrated Mr. Big's operation, and now he wants to have a little talk with you. When you meet him, Try to shoot out his hat and glasses so you can see the real Mr. Big. It's down to you and the Syndicate's top man. Good luck. You may have done some traveling before, but never like this. Cause there's never been a muscle machine like Bigfoot. You're driving a monster truck of power and performance. It's a coast-to-coast -coast competition that includes climbing up hills and racing through mud. Learn these tips for the rough ride ahead. To collect the special pickups, like the damage-repairing wrench or the spring for airing out the front end, beat the other four-wheelers to them. Blocking is a good technique. It also works well to get you here first. When you're charging up hills and through mud bogs, you'll need a little extra push. The supercharger gives you a boost, but take it easy. Keep the B button pressed down too long and you could turn your engine into steaming junk. Large tires and transmission upgrades are best for this event. When your opponent's out of commission, here's a great way to get 500 extra bucks. Slip between these flags, go straight up the middle, and you're in the money. The terrain out here is pretty rugged, but you can use it to your advantage. Try forcing your opponent into the trees with your saw blades, but don't let him pick up the protective shield. It will protect him from your circular saw. In Bigfoot, you may be the hunter one minute and the hunted the next. If your competitor trails you with the saw blades, try to stay ahead with a blast of nitro and keep zigzagging back and forth. This time, you've both got blades, but he's got a tree blocking him. In the tractor pull, you need a strong engine and good tires. Start off in low gear and give it all the gas you've got. Then as soon as you tack out, shift quickly. Take it easy with the nitro, especially on the jumps. Gun it too much and you just might crash and burn. Remember, you can store up to nine nitro blasts on each cross-country rally. 
Driving up the side of a mountain requires serious power. When you start losing speed on your climb, downshift and use your supercharger. Then try shifting up. Here your opponent gets up to four nitros, but makes the mistake of never using them. Thanks to your extra blast of nitro power, the checkered flag is yours. Learning to shift is important in any driving, especially with 14,000 pound monster trucks. On straightaways, you'll want to shift up. When climbing hills, down shifting will give you better traction and will conserve fuel. You not only want to beat the other driver, you want to bankrupt him too. If he's low on cash, do your best to eliminate him early. If he can't afford the $1,000 to buy a new truck and get back in the race, you'll have all the time you'll need to collect prize money and bonus points. Better get full power on all your parts before you enter the Oyster Bay Championship. It's the most grueling drag race yet. Watch your engine closely on this one and make sure it doesn't overheat early. As you head for the finish line, pour on the supercharger and crunch and munch your way to a monster truck victory. For this mission, you need the acclaimed double player dual wireless controllers for your Nintendo Entertainment System. With slow motion, twin turbo rapid fire, head to head or team play. Get acclaimed double player system, the power to move times two. When you need the best game news and playing strategies, pick up Game Players magazines. Game Players Strategy Guide to Nintendo Games gives you great hints and tips for all the hottest NES and Game Boy games. And Game Players Magazine covers winning strategies for all kinds of new games, for every type of system. Have Game Players Magazine or Game Players Strategy Guide to Nintendo Games delivered right to your door and save money too. Get 12 issues of either magazine for only $17.95. That's a savings of 50% off the newsstand price. Or save 58% by ordering 24 issues for $29.95. Operators are standing by, so call today. Game Players Magazine show you how to play to win. Call 1-800-222-9631. Call him Quaid, a man unsure of his own identity. You can help him regain control of his mind and memory. Based on the movie, Total Recall begins on Earth where Martian agents are tracking Quay. If he survives here, he'll be able to travel to Mars. Victory there will win him the greatest prize of all, Total Recall. The alleyway is dangerous. After you go to this scene, you'll have to fight off three undercover agents. Try this. Punch him once, wait for him to jump, then come back in and punch again. Three hits should do the job. Also, an energy canister is hidden on the right side, near the step. Government soldiers are trying to close the net around you. When they descend on you, duck down in the center of the screen. This is the best location for your most effective punching. More soldiers are gunning for you. This fence packs a few surprises too. As you hop up these steps, make sure you clear the bombs coming at you. Whatever you do, don't stop moving. Richter's always on your tail. Your happy home is about to be shattered. Your wife is really a Martian agent, and now you must treat her like one. Follow her around the room and punch when you get a chance. When she drops her gun after three hits, pick it up and empty the barrel. Security won't stop you as you enter the x-ray area. Run to the far right of the screen while blasting the guards and the floating gun pod. Don't forget to grab the free man bonus on the right before you defeat the last guard or you'll lose it. The situations become critical. Your every movement is being monitored by the Martian command. In the subway station, prepare to battle agents and the attack dogs. Use your usual techniques on the agents. Once you've cleared the subway platform, jump on top of the train. You'll find energy canisters up here, but watch out. 
There's an ambush waiting. As soon as you arrive at the cement factory, move to the right side of the building. Climb the ladders and explore the rooms. There's a machine gun upgrade that will greatly add to your firepower. If you start and stop while running under the deadly spiked balls, you'll have a better chance of making it through. But if you do get hit, just run through while you're flashing. Then pop up here for an extra life. You're ready to climb down this ladder, but Richter's undercover agents at the bottom are ready to attack. Start halfway down and wait. The very second he walks to the right of the ladder, hop down to the left. The Hat Man's one tough character. He can flip his boomerang lid with pinpoint accuracy. When you face him, put a little distance between you and him, but not too much. Duck away from his hat when he slings it at you, and jump when it comes back at you. Keep firing at his head all the while. If you can outlast him, you'll receive the key to get out of this stage. Now that you've won your freedom from the factory, return to the beginning of the stage. Relax, you won't have to go through it all again. Just go through the door left open for you. You'll find a helpful message inside. Now, on to Mars. You're about to find out why it's known as the Angry Red Planet. As soon as you land, you'll be targeted by ultra-efficient Martian drones. Don't bother trying to fight them while you're down on the floor. Jump up on the platforms and blast them. They'll usually leave behind energy canisters. Soldiers and heavily armed enemy vehicles will chase you through the transit hub. Watch out for the explosive mines in your path. You've got to make it through different sections, so take it slow and conserve your energy. Stand down under here, and you should be able to avoid the pesky cats. Take two hops, and you'll be in position to terminate this boomerang soldier. There's extra energy to be had if you move fast. There's a lot to be said for bravery, but this isn't the place to say it. The odds are overpowering, so just get out of here. Don't deplete your energy by going into battle here, either. Enemies may leap out at you, but play it cool. Be quick on your feet and concentrate on getting in the door of the last resort. This enemy miner isn't messing around. He's playing with fire. Move from platform to platform until you can get a good shot at him. Treat his buddy with the same disrespect, then duck in here. On the other side of the tunnel, you've got skeletons to deal with. You can fire away, but the best approach is to run past them. They can't even hurt you until they're fully formed, so hurry up, Quaid. You've come a long way, but this giant drill wants you to go no further. When the drill backs up, follow it. When it comes at you, open fire. And when the drill's driver looks at you through the hatch, you look at him through the sights of your gun. Someone stole your mind, Quaid, and now it's time to get it back. You've been selected to go back, back to the home of your ancestors. You're a lone starship pilot traveling to the Earth from Kojan, the very planet that kidnapped a ship full of Earthlings centuries ago. You'll battle through eight enemy-infested solar systems in your long-awaited return to destination Earth Star. Dock at this planet to repair your ship's damage. Slow down to a warp speed of one or two to engage in a docking procedure. Besides an army of fierce Kojin warriors, each star system has planets, an armory to replenish weapons, a home base for refueling, and a hidden enemy base. This special hint map gives you the lowdown on Star System 1. Once you overtake the Kojans outside the planet, you'll take them on inside the deadly base station. Hold your position and remain in front of these missile-shooting fighters to defeat them. You've got galaxies to go before you reach your destination Earth Star.
Prepare to take a journey into a deadly maze, 16 levels deep. The very maze that has been haunted by the serpent that has brought terror to the countryside for hundreds of years. Your only hope in this role-playing adventure is to recover the powerful ruby artifacts that will allow your party to challenge the deadly serpent. Enter now into the land of swords and serpents. For one, two, or four players, Swords and Serpents lets you choose the four characters that already exist in the game, or you can create and name your own party of unique characters. Warriors should be strong and agile, while magicians should have very high intelligence. Be sure to take at least two magicians and one warrior. An old hermit will appear from time to time to offer valuable advice. Heed his words. This evil dungeon knight may not seem too difficult to beat, but if a party of these enemies attacks you later in the game, you'll be in for quite a fight. Defeat him now, and you may receive a valuable weapon. If you travel down the lower right corner of the first level, you'll find a sting spell that will be helpful against more powerful enemies. You'll find an armory near the bottom of level 1 that sells weapons in exchange for your hard-earned gold pieces. If you have the money, it never hurts to have too big a sword. They'll also buy things back from you, but they'll only pay half price. As you travel further into the maze, enemies will begin to attack in pairs or even in groups of four or six. Even the weakest enemy becomes dangerous when joined by his comrades. So don't be afraid to press the run command. Be careful when you encounter the undead zombies. They don't attack often, but when they do, their blows may be lethal. The reward for defeating these gruesome creatures is a worthy one, though. Cave spiders slither in from the darkness. They're tricky to battle since their feelers allow them to skillfully dodge your attacks. An encounter with these creatures may take a while, so use your magician's heal spell to keep your party battle ready. Temples are hidden on only three levels. The hermit will tell you where to find these temples, and once there, your life and magic points will be restored. If you die during your adventure, you will be revived at the last temple you visited. Be sure to map your adventure as you go along for handy reference. When you come to the upper right corner of the first floor, you'll be warned that several men are standing guard. They'll begin attacking almost immediately, so be sure to have all your life and magic points when you get there. Try your flash fire spell first. If it works, you can win this battle with one blow. This should take you up to experience level two. It opens up a stairway. When you take these stairs, get ready for anything. These ogres at the bottom of the stairs are tough to defeat. Make sure that before you encounter them, or go much deeper into your journey, that you build up your experience levels and pick up more powerful weapons. You'll need them to defeat the tougher henchmen on the deeper levels. There are many tasks left to perform, and a ferocious serpent to conquer. These tips should start you well on your way through the maze of swords and serpents. You've been Back to the Future at the movies. Now go there on your NES. In Back to the Future 2 and 3, a double mission to save the future. LJN's Back to the Future 2 and 3. Get it while there's still time. If you like this game tape, you'll love Game Player's Pro Tip Hotline. Now you can hear the tips you want to know just by pushing a button on your telephone. Each week, our Game Player's experts choose the best hints and tips for three hot games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just dial and select which secrets you want to hear. Every week, we'll change the games and the hints. Try it today. $1.25 for the first minute, 75 cents each additional minute. Don't forget to ask your parents' permission before calling. Call 1-900-740-7000. The 
Black Shadow Warriors have committed the ultimate crime. They've gunned down your girl, Marion. And now it's up to you and your brother, Jimmy Lee, to get revenge, Double Dragon 2 style. With one or two players, you'll encounter nunchuck-toting thugs and enemy gangs. In the end, you'll take on the Sensei of the Black Shadow Warriors, if you make it. The action begins in Mission 1, Into the Turf. These Lindas can't defend themselves when they're climbing down ladders. Take advantage of the situation. You'll have to use every trick in the book to make it to the evil Sensei in Mission 9. Your surprise guests really know how to make an entrance. These ninja commandos are armed with knives, which you can steal and use yourself. But watch out. When the last commando is defeated, your weapon will disappear. You can't see the first mutant shadow warrior boss's face, probably because he doesn't have one. To defeat him, use your hyper jump kick and watch him fade away. He's back. Retreat a little until he completely reappears, and then pound him till he disappears for good. As soon as you hit the roof, this enemy transport helicopter will begin shooting at you. Climb down the ladder and stay out of shooting range. When the chopper stops moving, your enemies, including a special ninja hit team, will start coming at you. Keep your position and let them jump into your punches. Knocking them off the side of the building is your best strategy. All it takes is one good shot. Inside the airborne helicopter in Mission 3, you've got to earn your wings the hard way. The big guys play rough up here. If you get knocked down while the door's open, you could get sucked out of the chopper. Here's a special hint. If you're about to be sucked out, pause the game. The door will close even though you're in pause. Then restart the game and continue the action. You've just taken an express elevator deep into the undersea base of the Black Shadow Warriors. The ceiling is lined with razor sharp spikes, so be careful not to jump when executing your martial arts maneuvers. Getting through this section takes split-second timing. These deadly mechanical claws can really sap your energy, so don't be in a hurry. Position yourself right next to a crusher. As soon as it starts to rise up, make your move. Ambush! The Lindas pack quite a punch. So do their grenades. Don't forget, you can pick them up and use them for self-defense. This ambush tunnel is a perfect place to execute a jump kick or use a super knee move. If you keep your position, there's plenty of leaping room and no ceiling spikes, which is good news when you have to go head to head with this giant shadow warrior. The conveyor belts leading to mission five can be tricky if you don't know their patterns. The bottom belts travel away from the center, but the top ones move toward the center. You're getting closer to the Sensei of the Black Shadow Warriors and his gang members will stop at nothing to defeat you here in the forest of death. The thugs waiting for you on the top of the mountain are armed with explosive flare bombs. Before you cross over to the large conveyor belt, check the steam jets. The top one will blow first, then the middle, and finally the bottom. You've made it to the top. The question now is, can you stay there? If it were up to these shadow warriors, you'd end up flat on your back 15 feet below. Trouble comes at you in pairs in this room, and your hyper kick is just the weapon to double them over. You'll have to fight two of each type of enemy. The mysterious eyes blinking in the background hint at the supernatural danger lurking ahead. Try not to lose too much energy while fighting the flat top commando. There are plenty of other opponents to face, and you'll need all your power and endurance to defeat the Black Shadow Warrior Sensei in the final mission. Good luck. You're Michael Knight, 
And you're in the cockpit of Kit, the Knight 2000 supercar equipped with lasers, missiles, and a turbo boost that catapults you 50 feet in the air. A band of terrorists is waging war on the United States, and you're on a 15-city mission to bring them to justice. Get ready to burn up the road in Knight Rider. You and Kit, your computerized supercar, will be blazing cross-continent at speeds up to 250 miles per hour. The ruthless terrorists you're tracking will do their best to make sure it's no joyride. And don't forget to use your turbo boost when you're boxed in heavy traffic heading for an accident. Your first mission is to retrieve the stolen PIV bomb. Remember to be on the lookout for the black trailer truck sent by the Knight Foundation. Pull up behind it to get bonus items like extra fuel, lasers, and other things you'll need to complete your task. The best way to dodge his gunfire is to weave left, right, and back again. When equipping kit with weapons, choose lasers or missiles. Not only are lasers much more powerful, they can also take out the helicopters faster. From Frisco to Seattle in a car that can max out at 250 miles per hour. What a way to travel. When you destroy yellow enemy cars, a bonus letter may appear. Catch it on the hood of your car or its history. Stay alert to enemy cars that change lanes. When a car starts creeping over to your lane, be prepared to move or use your turbo boost to avoid an accident. Although you'll need to drive at top speed to complete many of the missions, it's better to slow down than to get into a wreck. Remember, blue cars are not out to get you. If you shoot them, you'll be docked five seconds. When you outfit your Knight 2000 mean machine, don't forget to stock up on the basics. Make sure you've got plenty of gas and shields before loading up on weapons. This enemy truck is a death wagon full of dynamite. If you want to make it to Seattle in one piece, keep switching lanes while shooting at the edge of the truck. The explosive should be easy to avoid. Looks like you've done it. You meet these cars on the road to Salt Lake City, and they're doubly dangerous. Not only will their drivers try to blow you up, but if they can't get you that way, They'll slam on their brakes in the middle of the road. If your time is running out, but you still have plenty of fuel, use your turbo boost over and over as a last resort. You'll burn petrol like it's going out of style, but this will increase your speed, and you just might make it to the super bad guy at the end of the line. Between missions, Devin will ask you if you're ready for a vacation. If you want to take a break and resume playing later, say yes so you can get the secret code. If you lose the game without getting the code, you'll have to start from scratch. Here's a secret code that will get you right to the fourth mission. W-E-D-N-B-X-M-A-A-Z-I-P-B. Welcome to the Rocky Mountains with helicopters chasing you down from above. Running off the road is better than hitting another vehicle. All you'll lose is some speed. Just make sure the side of the road is free of obstacles. At the end of your journey to Denver, you'll face the menacing Terminator Super Chopper. Your turbo boost will come in handy here. Try to hang in the air for as long as possible while firing. When you hit the chopper, it will turn from blue to yellow. When it turns red, it's just about done. Here's a last minute gift that couldn't have come at a better time. An extra 30 seconds from the Knight Foundation. Make sure you catch it on your hood.
Your drive to Toronto will be threatened by airplane attacks. Fight them as you would the choppers you've encountered. If you've got a full supply of shields and lasers, your best bet is to go head-to-head -head against this super bad guy. That's what happens here, with good results. It's a dark night to be driving to New York City, especially when you're chasing a gang who's just stolen a deadly virus from the lab. Destroy the tanker with the yellow design on the back to win extra points, but watch out for the dynamite. Someone must have been in a real hurry on their way to Houston since they left oil barrels smack in the middle of the road. You'll have to keep a sharp eye out to avoid hitting them. You'll also want to watch for gold and white helicopters. Shoot them and receive special bonus items from above. The trip to Phoenix is a hot one. You'll race through sizzling deserts with temperatures reaching over 100 degrees. Some of the enemy cars are equipped with bombs that'll knock two of your shields off. These hot rods have weapons just like the super bad guys, so you've got to do everything in your power to turn them into scrap metal. You've gone all over the country, and now you're headed for Las Vegas. Be careful, the deck could be stacked against you. Complete this mission, and you'll be able to go home. Maybe. Ride on, Knight Rider. Game Players Sports for Kids. Packed with action photos, great games, and the latest stories in sports. It's the magazine written especially for kids like you. Every issue delivers the players, the action, all the sports, all year long. Read about what's rad hot across the country. Find out what kids just like you are doing in sports. Stay in tune with what's happening when and where. It's all in Game Players Sports for Kids. Get six bi-monthly issues for only $11.95 by calling toll-free. Order your subscription today. Tonight, instead of just playing a video game, live it. Swords and Serpents takes you to a new world where you become one of a band of super warriors. Do you enter the dungeon, choose your weapon, or forge ahead? The battle is at hand. You must gain experience and power by defeating the evils of the dark. Danger lurks in the dungeon, but so do the rewards. Enter Claim's world of Swords and Serpents on your NES if you dare. The evil wizard Malkil is determined to bring the entire land of Sindarin under his rule by overtaking the four elementals of nature. As Kuros, you must assemble the only weapon that can bring the legendary Malkil to his knees, Iron Sword. Before you can battle the evil wizard Malkil, you must win all the pieces of the mighty Iron Sword. Your quest begins at this mysterious blue mountain you'll need to collect many objects along the way. The first is the golden egg. Offer the golden egg to the Eagle King, the first of the four animal kings, and he'll take you on a one-way journey to the clouds. These skies aren't very friendly, and they're loaded with tornadoes and deadly cloud men. But you can also find treasures and an extra man here. Comb this area carefully and you'll also uncover the cloud chamber that holds the Windbane spell, which you'll need to defeat the first elemental. Once you have the magic spell, you'll be ready to tangle with the wind elemental. Get close to him and start jumping. Aim your magic at his eye. This way, your shots will inflict the maximum amount of damage on the elemental, and they'll also protect you. After you've won your first piece of the Iron Sword, move on to the forest and look for the Water Spout spell. It comes in handy when you're searching for the Golden Fly. The Water Spout will work just like an elevator and lift you right to the Golden Fly. As soon as you receive it, Take it to the Frog King. He'll direct you from there.
Now you're in the water level. Grab the magic key and swing back to the left. Underwater zombies and other creatures from the deep try to drown your efforts. Walk through this barrier to find the blight water spell. You'll need it against the water elemental. Remember how you fought the wind elemental? Do the same thing here. Shoot the water elemental in his eyes. You'll get your best results by firing when you're at the peak of your jump. After you've defeated him, run across the top and claim your second piece of the iron sword. There's also a fire level you must journey through. After defeating the fire elemental, you'll find yourself here on the earth level. Don't forget to pick up the dragon tooth spell. Later on, you'll be glad you did. This area is loaded with jewels, food, and other valuables, not to mention earth demons. Most importantly, this is your one-stop shopping place for the Earth Scorch spell. You won't be able to defeat the final Earth Elemental without it. There's also another hidden treasure room. Jump off this platform and you'll be admitted to another secret chamber. This one offers magic and an extra man. Your victories have earned you the Iron Sword, most powerful of weapons. Here's a Sindarin secret tip. To obtain three lives, enter the letter N in place of the fifth character in your secret password. Enter all other characters in the exact order they were given to you. P.S. Use this hint at Ice Fire Mountain. The evil Malkil waits for you at Ice Fire Mountain. But first, move up through this passage and collect all the items you can. And don't be surprised if you find a secret room along the way. Welcome to Ice Fire Mountain. Before your big showdown, visit a local inn for some nourishment. Use the Asp's Tongue spell and watch what happens. The innkeeper won't let you leave hungry. Your travels have brought you far, and now it's between you and the evil wizard Malkil. Will the wizard win the final victory? Or will the battle belong to a warrior named Kuros and the blade called Iron Sword? The situation's desperate in another part of the universe. This time it's trouble at home. Space pirates from the planet Zog have been raiding the Earth's storage asteroids. No one's been able to come up with a defense that works until now. Meet Cybernoid, the ultimate fighting machine. It's ready for action and fully stocked with the latest bombs, missiles, and lasers. Only the most advanced technology and timing will be able to rid your world of the Zog menace. Seek and destroy in Cybernoid. When you journey into this next chamber, come in close to the ceiling so the bubble bombs will travel there. Then duck down to the bottom and start bombing a clear path. The Cybernoid can move in all directions, like a helicopter. It's a good thing, too, because sometimes you've got to do some skillful maneuvering. Like here. You'll have to choose your moment correctly and have perfect timing. You to help you find a hidden weapon on the other side. Another way to make it through moving barriers is to call up your shield. It'll protect you as you pass through the maze. Remember, annihilate all in your path. Take it to the hoop, basketball fans, with arch rivals. Straight from the arcades, this is head-to-head -head basketball where breaking the rules is part of the rules. If you can't block a shot, knock your opponent's block off. Arch rivals isn't just basketball. It's Basket Brawl. You've got eight arch rivals to choose from, so check out the player's stats carefully. When you choose your player, make sure he's a good shooter and can hold his own in rebounding. Tyrone's great on defense, and Hammer can nail him from almost anywhere on the court. Like any good Basket Brawl, rebounding is an important part of winning. 
In arch rivals, boxing out your opponent is second only to punching him out. You can count on your opponents to play tough defense. The best way to keep them from stealing the ball is to use fancy footwork and make quick on-the-mark passes. Nice shot, Tyrone. Besides a good right smash, you need real b-ball skills to win. A perfectly timed block could help you win the game. Then again, slamming one home and shattering the backboard's not a bad move either. A good strategy is to pass the ball all the way down court. Three-point shots help narrow the gap in a close contest. So come on, lace up, grab a ball, and hit the court with Tyrone, Vinny, Mohawk, and the rest of the arch-rivals gang.